to my haters <laughs> just like Trump in that iconic moment where he put his fist up in the air I'm like not today not I know that you guys want to send me to Christ but not today but yo that was close today was like this close to being the best day ever and harping back to the whole Trump assassination attempt I think it's just deplorable that there are people right now on the internet that are clowning the shooter just because he missed. The person that at Trump at his rally was exercising that right that all those Republicans were fighting for. So can you really blame him? How do you miss that? We don't miss those. Come on, man. We don't miss those! One shot at greatness to be mentioned in the history books! And you miss the shot?! <laughs> I think we forgot to mention when we were asking for, you know, someone to bring back it's like they used to, we forgot to mention that they have to have good aim. Remember, genies are tricky that way. I just found out about this it just happened. I haven't even had a second to process. You're telling me somebody finally had the balls to bring a pew pew. And he missed! We were a second away! We were a centimeter away from half of the problem being gone and you missed! There was a white man attached to that trigger. I know it! We were a centimeter away! Two Secret Service sniper teams could be seen on rooftops behind former President Donald Trump less than two minutes before gunfire erupted at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania on Saturday. They appear to be getting into position facing the direction of the gunmen who authorities say fired the shots that grazed former President Trump. Trump said a bullet struck him in the ear. Here's how the attack unfolded. President Trump was speaking from a stage located here. The suspected gunman was on the roof of another building less than 450 feet away from where Trump was speaking, with a clear line of sight. One minute and 32 seconds before shots are heard, we can see two Secret Service sniper teams moving into place on the roofs behind the former president. One on the south roof and one on the north roof, facing the direction of the shooter. It's unclear if they were repositioning or setting up for the first time. He's literally Hitler. But he shot at Trump. Uh, at a rally, like, a couple of minutes ago. And it grazed him by the ear. There was some bleeding. And whoever did that, like, if you're gonna, like, do this, can you, like, pick somebody who knows how to shoot a gun? <laughs> like, if you're gonna do it, like, do it. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you guys are all doing good. Sometimes, guys, you just have to thank God that you're still here. We noticed a guy crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. Thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two, three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. Next thing you know, five shots ring out. But why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. It is a sad, sad day for America. It is hard to find the words to describe the shock and the horror that people are feeling right now. After many of us were witnessing on live television the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. This is a devastating day for America. Right now, people are pouring their hearts out on social media and posting pray for Trump. Many of the people I'm speaking with over there are feeling scared about how close this was. Looking at the still images, you can see the bullet that pierced his right ear as he gets up with blood smeared on his face. And as he was standing there speaking, he just 
felt he felt it like you could see like his spirit just told him just sh just tilt your head just a little bit and the bullet just grazes his ear now that is the craziest thing i've ever seen in my life guys i've seen a lot of things but that that was if it was just like a millimeter if he had just not tilted his head like that he wouldn't be here right now it's crazy it's crazy how the lord works in such mysterious ways and that's where i'm at that's where i'm at right now when i woke up today i was just like thank god that my body is perfect thank god i'm you know still in tip-top shape thank god that i'm in my prime and i'm just thinking of trump thinking of his family I was reading what the whole family like tweeted about it and I'm just like your dad could have died so my prayers go out to Donald his family and of course the man that lost his life I saw there were certain people which were trying to make this political now it's not really the time to do that I think it's a time to regroup it's a time for us to evaluate and kind of think of what we're doing. But as I've mentioned in previous videos, I think that right now, all that we want is blood. For some reason, all that we want is blood. You saw that you want the Drake, Henry Lamar, whole beef. Everyone was just like out to see somebody bleed. You miss that! We don't miss those! man oh, don't miss those one shot at greatness to be mentioned in the history books and you miss the shot <laughs> this horrific act has just deepened an already huge divide in the united states of america but if you were following media outlets like cnn today well you would have thought that donald trump had a fall look at this headline secret service rushed trump off stage after he falls at rally. False. It was an assassination attempt. He's not Joe Biden that doesn't know how to stand up. And that's not a one-off headline. This morning I was looking at my phone and I was taking screenshots because even though it's CNN, I still couldn't believe it. The next headline I saw, Trump injured in incident at rally. Incident. That's really what they wanted to go with when the man who's been president before and is running again was just shot. Oh, and there's more. Video captures what happened at Trump rally that left him injured. Ooh, wonder what it could be. CNN is using the video as clickbait while refusing to acknowledge what it is that just occurred, and that is an attempt to murder the man who is running for president. So I hope that we can kind of like shift out of that and come to a more peaceful place, but social media right now is, it's, it's crazy it's cra like the two weeks that i decided to take a break that is when all of this is happening I went and told the officer that he was up there and when i went back to my spot i heard that people could s still see the sh the person from where they were standing so i checked that out and i went and went back to tell the officer that if he came over there he could see them now take a look at the women here the secret service agents does that look professional it must be terrifying to be in the situation but you're trained for that she's supposed to be able to protect trump with her body that's what they were all doing the men especially they were like you know hovering over him she's like this small compared to trump what's she gonna be protecting listen guys wishing death upon a person because he doesn't have the same politics as you is lunacy. Now, I know that these are a lot of immature people and you know, it's TikTok, but I'm just like, that should not be allowed. And the people which are making videos like that, I think their accounts should be shut down because that's inciting violence. You're telling me somebody finally had the balls to bring a pew pew. And he missed! We were a second! away we were a centimeter away that's the exact same thing as what when Charlemagne was spewing all that shit about Trump but now all of a sudden he's quiet because he's like this is going to be the end of democracy if you elect him of course if you're spewing that shit people are going to watch you because you're on this what 
huge radio show. And of course, they're going to be inspired to take action. Yeah. Now, that does not mean that we should go and support a fascist. I don't think that <laughs> either right. of us are saying that. And that's what mainstream media never reports me saying, because right. I'm never saying, I, I, I may talk about uh, Joe Biden and his shortcomings, but I also say Donald Trump is the end of democracy as we know it. Yeah. And we've seen it. Like, you know, he attempted a coup of this country yeah. or to overturn, you know, the vote. vote, the vote. So right. it's like we... And we the vote of see, people who look like us. That's right. That's so we, see, we see what he's capable of. So I think there are a lot of, a lot of nefarious actors when it comes to this whole what? Trump assassination attempt and now a lot of people are backing away because they're like oh I don't want to be implicated I don't want to be connected to this you know but I don't think it's the way to go I think we should be mature and we should debate but not that not that yes I do have ops and I do wish at least like somebody rough them up but not not death, not death upon anybody. But uh, yeah, it's just crazy. And I think it's just lunacy that they're allowing this on social media. And let's look at some of the other reaction we are seeing today. And remember, America is right now feeling the weight and the heartbreak of what has unfolded today. But Colorado Democrat Stephen Woodrow posted on X, the last thing we need was sympathy for the devil, but here we are really classy. You know, comments like that are expected from troll accounts, but politicians, well, it really gives us an insight into how dark and how ugly some of the thinking and some of the attitudes are, and also how much hate there is for Donald Trump. So let's look at what some of the Democrats have said in the past. Have they ever called for political violence? I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick them. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. And you would have well, been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. And that's a fact. <laughs> Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. It is just disgusting. Now back to CNN, because according to them, Despite surviving an assassination attempt, there's no legitimate threat to Donald Trump. Donald Trump and the people around him perceive themselves to be under threat. And that's all that matters. That is, that is not legitimate. That is wrong. Oh, and here's more CNN coverage complaining about how Trump reacted seconds after someone tried to kill him. I do want to say there was one thing that when I watched the tape, I found odd uh, because of all of the heated rhetoric and that is that after he was hit uh former president trump got up and said fight 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 that that was close that was close and apparently got shot in the chest as well but he had a bulletproof vest on so that guy's i have to say Give me that. I would trade that for a hundred million dollars. Just to wake up each day and just have that chance. That chance to breathe. Man, I would give I would give anything for that. Yeah. Where do I Yeah. Here, right?
yeah but there's a apparently a person that is paragliding but anyway just to evaluate my trip guys I have to say it's been good I've learned a lot I hate hate to go back but there are certain things that I'm going to implement now in my strategy and yeah I'm, I'm very excited it's given me new perspective and that's what I needed I needed new perspective I needed new energy and I've gotten that I've gotten rest as well because sometimes when you're doing something like uh, I take the what the Michael Jordan reference when he was playing for the Bulls he won three championships he had to take a rest he had to leave it get that spark again and then come back and then win three more so that is kind of like where I've been I wouldn't say that I lost my spark but I was exhausted I was and I kind of like needed the time to regroup start thinking clearly again and get my superpowers back but that's where I'm at when it comes to all of this guys like comment and share if you like videos like this and yeah I will, I'll see you in the next video okay peace